So talking about Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Core 2, Episode 10. This is the episode that everyone that has read the light novels has been waiting for. The episode of the greatest build-up, honestly, I think, is one of the most pivotal moments in growth, development. It is absolutely enriching in character development. And honestly, I will probably put in the title, Paul is a great father. In some way, I will probably title the video that. And I stand by that. Has he made mistakes? Absolutely. But was he a good father? Yes. He did the duty of any good father would do. Protect his family as best as humanly possible. But again, was he perfect? No. He made mistakes. He did some pretty stupid things growing up and continued to make stupid decisions as he got older. But he tried to do the right thing. The intent, the good natured intent was there. I mean, looking at this episode in the way that he lashed out at Paul because he was so emotionally you know, scared, I think in part because of what he saw and how angry he was that he wanted to try and put his family back together. But Rudy, and again, from Paul's perspective, he probably thought Rudy was just being calm and collected because that's how he always is. you got to understand, Rudy even says in the episode that he never really saw Paul or Zenith as his parents because of his past life. Because of that, he never really saw them as true parents. But at that moment, at that very moment, I think Rudy really saw Paul as a father. In, if you've read the light novels, there's, there's much of it where he talks about how he saw Paul as more of like a friend, like a bro kind of like, you know, one of those friends that you hang out with that you're really close. But I think, in my opinion, at that very pivotal moment when Paul threw himself in the line of fire or risked his life and then ended up losing his life, I think that's where Rudy really looked at him and saw him as a father figure because Paul did the one thing that many fathers want to do and uh, sort of feel like it's their obligation. I, I think it's a respectable thing. I, I, especially in this day and age, I think it's kind of weird how we're kind of punishing men for trying to be father role models and trying to be the protector of the family. And I think that's kind of sad. And I know it's getting a little bit into the politics, but I just think it's really important to highlight Paul's one job that he felt was his responsibility and he felt like he failed over and over and over again because he kept making mistakes he couldn't put the family back together he needed Rudy's help that's why he didn't want to ask Rudy for help because he felt like it was his responsibility to put the family back together he was the father it's his responsibility but I think it's also important that he's able to go to those that he needs help and go to his son Rudy and say let's do this together and I'm so glad that Rudy did make that decision, even though the man god was trying to persuade him in another direction, for obvious reasons that light novel readers know, but I'm not going to spoil it for anime only, because this is a spoiler-free video. Paul smiled at the end, and I saw some people saying that that actually was added content. No, it actually is in the light novels. Paul kind of, when he sees Rudy alive, he kind of has that smirk. It's that feel of, I did what I had to do. It's it's that satisfaction that Paul has that he's like, I died knowing that I did my duty as a father. Again, was he perfect? No. And I'm emphasizing on that because one of the things that I always see criticized about Mushoku Tensei is people always criticizing the characters going, oh, but they made this mistake and they made that mistake, so it's a bad series. Calling this series bad because of characters that make bad decisions in a story is the most idiotic and stupidest thing that I've ever heard. That is completely apples and oranges of comparisons. If a story is badly written, then yeah, you can argue that the story is bad. But just because Paul makes a mistake doesn't mean the story is badly written. That's the point of the story is characters make mistakes, which is why I've gotten very much in defensive mode and I'll admit it, in defensive mode or more critical mode of content creators that don't understand the difference between characters making mistakes to further the story along than just bad writing. There's a complete difference. And for some reason, many content creators out there try to conflate the two together going, oh, bad writing, characters making mistakes, they're the same thing. They're not. 
And I think it's so amazing to see a series like Mushoku Tensei have characters make mistakes. I think it's become so boring and mundane to see so many animes where every MC is just picture perfect. I mentioned this in Mushoku, uh, not Mushoku Tensei, Moonlit Fantasy. Because one of the things I like about the MC from Moonlit Fantasy is he is not perfect. There is a darker underlining personality in him. He's not this ooh, bubbly, hubbly, lovely, gonna sit around the campfire and sip on a tea and be ooh, lovey-dovey. No. We have a darker side in all of us. We all do. There are moments where we sit there and we get angry at the world for the misdeeds that have happened to us. And we have our strengths and our weaknesses, our goods, our bads. We are all human. And yet, for some reason, we keep thinking that people can't be human anymore. That we're trying to detach reality and emotions away from us. Because I think a lot of the problems is people don't want to deal with other people because they've become so narcissistic. And I think people are kind of thinking, where am I going with this? But I think seeing how people are treating anime and that one, they take things way too serious. But then you can say, I'm taking things too serious. But this is an analysis channel. Get over it. <laughs> But what I'm trying to say is that if people can't sympathize with a character in a story like this, you don't have to sit there and treat it like it's real life and like treat it like it's the end of the world. But I think it's important to analyze and sit there and say, hey, these are enriched characters with interesting depth behind them. And if we can't sit there and sympathize with them, then I feel like we as individuals have lost a little bit of our own humanity. We've become so cold and calculated that we don't want to allow these negatives. And I think a lot of it also comes down to some people just want only highs, positive, 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 positive in characters. Like every character has to have no flaws. But I think what makes a good story and why Mashuka Tensei is one of the best isekais out there, one of the best, is because it shows the human nature. And I repeat myself a million times and I'll repeat it a million more times. Why? Because I think it's important. Human element in stories like this allow us to grow and learn as individuals because we can see those and be like, yeah, they made mistakes. And I think it's important that we do see things like this. Sure, we can differentiate the difference between reality and fiction, but I think it's also good to use fiction as a way of learning, to teach a lesson, to pass wisdom on. And I think much of that is in this, showing Rudy's mistakes and how he went down a lump sum, lump sum, down into the dumps when it came to things like his ED. It, it taught us a lot about how this is a real prevalent issue that can happen to men. And yet for some reason the anime got mocked for trying to have it in there. Which to me, I would say anyone that mocks a series for having that demonstrates that they are detached from reality and don't understand that mental health is a serious issue. And then you look at Paul. Again, far from perfect. But he tried to do the best and his last, last act was doing what he felt was his duty as a father. And that is why I believe Paul is and was a good father. He was a good father, but far from perfect. But just because you've made mistakes doesn't make you a bad, inherently person. Again, it depends on the severity of the mistakes. But I don't see Paul as a bad father. I just simply see him as a father with flaws like everyone else. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What did you think of this episode? Definitely, Studio Bayern has a very sick sense of humor. It's what I've been teasing Ed about for the last couple of weeks. Been saying to him, you know, wait for it, wait for it. And honestly, I think everyone kind of expected this to happen because there were so many red flags about this. And honestly, I, I did. I, I got very emotional. I, I, I watched the episode and then I went out for a walk because I had to go somewhere and do something. And as I was walking, I was kind of thinking about the episode. And I almost started tearing up while I was walking to that location just thinking about it. Because it is just such an emotional roller coaster. And also the fact that if I, if I can say one thing, especially with this being Father's Day and with what's happened in this episode, cherish every moment that you have with your parents. Not just your father, but also your mothers. Your mum, your dad, your grandparents your brother, your sister, any family you have, cherish them as if they're their last. Because you never know when you will lose them. And once they're gone, there's no going back. There's no 
telling them how you feel or apologizing for some dumb little thing that you said. Once they're gone, they're gone. And as someone that's just recently lost their mother to cancer, there are many moments where I wish I could go back and say things and give her a hug and tell her that I loved her and that she meant the world to me. But once they're gone, they're gone. Cherish every moment like it's its last. Because you never know when it will be their last or yours. And you don't want that regret to sit on your conscience. I know it's a bit of a darker tone, but I think if we can take anything from this episode and from it being on Father's Day, even if, yes, this is about Father's Day and I'm talking about family as a whole, but I think talking about family as a whole as well as Father's Day is important. But especially today, go see your father if you have one. <laughs> give him a hug. Give him a slap on the cheek or butt. I'm just kidding. But just give your parents a hug. Tell them that you love them. Again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.